would clearly behoove both parties to take a long, hard look at this, because they actually got lucky this time. Whether you like these two candidates or not, it does seem the party nominees will coincidentally be the people with the most votes. Trump currently has a lead of nearly four million over his closest competitor, and Hillary leads Sanders by over three million. And Sanders supporters might argue that doesn't include all caucus votes. But when the Washington Post estimated the rest, they found that she would still lead by 2.9 million votes. And even if you multiply all those estimated caucus votes by seven to account for lower turnout, even if you give Bernie a bonus of 10,000 extra votes in every state that's voted so far, and even if you tack on an extra 100,000 votes just for shits and giggles, <laughs> she's still comfortably ahead. And I know, Bernie supporters, I can hear you typing right now. <laughs> that I can hear you typing that I look like an angry toucan funded by shillery, but that doesn't make that any less true.